Right, welcome back to another lesson. Giving all glory and praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the belongs to the apostles, elders, and bishops of GMS. Peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith, the elect, beginning with the 144,000. Shalom, welcome back to another lesson. Um, going into, in this one, we're going to go into the sexual immorality on the rise, and particularly uh, incest. Is uh, The spirit of incest is being pushed out here. You have an Atlanta rapper, Rx Hector, raises eyebrows for inappropriately touching his own mother. And before I play this, do I got this queued up? Yeah, we're going to play that too, but we're going to breeze through this real quick. Atlanta Rx rapper, Rx Hector, is raising quite a few eyebrows because of a viral video which he can be seen grabbing his mother inappropriately. On Saturday, March 9th, he shared a clip on his Instagram stories in which he could be seen celebrating his mother's birthday with family and friends. Uh, hey, this is why we say, number one, those those birthday things are wicked anyway, man. When you look in the Bible, the only people that celebrated their birthday, the first account of birthday celebration was, um, was Pharaoh, who was an Egyptian. And then you had an account of, I think it was Herod. I want to say Herod. The, uh, the Roman who was um, acknowledging his birthday. All right, the, the descendants of Jacob. We didn't. We don't do birthdays. All right, but anyway, celebrating his mother's birthday was with, with family and friends. At one point, he smacked and grabbed her butt while saying, "This is a fat booty." She even accepted the gesture while noting that it's real. <laughs> Before jumping up and down to shake it while her son exclaimed, make it clap. I love this woman so much words could never explain. He captioned the video. This is weird as fuck. Can't convince me otherwise. One person commented under the live bits reshare of the video. These single mammals, mamas <laughs> in this weird obsession for their sons and how inappropriate their sons are with them is very disturbing man you know what that remind me of um what's that girl name man because i wanted to do a video on on this shit too uh drea michelle i seen a, a picture of her and one of her sons speaking of this you know the son husband shit this her oldest one, which he look a little tippy toe, but I want to show something I seen with her and a younger one. It was like some Halloween stuff. If I can find it, probably on her Instagram. Uh, yeah, probably on her Instagram. There you go. Bam. Look at this shit. And there's some more photos, but, you know, this is that uh that son-husband uh culture that, 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 that the blacks have, man, where they, you know, where the mothers is like uh the, the wives, like the, where the women make their sons their husbands, man. And it's this weird, like the comment said, it's this weird relationship between them. Now, it was another one. You can see her nipples here. It was another one. Um, another picture with them dressed up like this that look real suspect, but this is not the one. But this is, this was the you know the event. But that ain't the one I'm looking for though. But and you wonder why they be up here, goddamn, all tippy toed and shit. But anyway, man. Um, going back to this this article. You know, these single mamas and their weird obsession for their sons and how inappropriate their sons are with them is very disturbing. Which we're going to talk about the Kodak Black situation. I'm going to play that video. Back in 20, 2021, Kodak Black came under fire for a similar gesture. In a video from his brother's birthday party in Miami, the rapper was filmed grabbing his mother's rear rear end and trying to kiss his, his mother's rear and trying to kiss her on the mouth. When I see, this is what he said. When I see my, I'm, I'm going to say it like Kodak. Hold on. I'm going to say it like Kodak. When, when I see my mama, homie, I adore her, homie. The, the Florida native said, I kiss her feet, homie. What, what, what you talking about, boy? Some of you niggas don't even holler at your mama. Some of you niggas don't even call your mama, homie. 
Some of you niggas don't even spend time with your mama, homie. <laughs> this is my Kodak Black. She ain't tripping. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Nigga, I grabbed my mama because I treat my mama like a lady. That's my queen. And that's that whole little black queen energy and culture. This is why we rebuke that shit. This, the scriptures refer to that as the, the queen of heaven, uh, which was an issue, you know, big stumbling block amongst Jake. You know, where they get to, to, to worshiping, you know, their women. Uh, I think that was a Babylonian um, custom. Jeremiah 7 and 18, the children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. So when Jake being that whole, my mama, my queen, this is um, an idol, you know, the spirit of idolatry that Jake being to queen of heaven. Um, Bible. The queen of heaven may refer to Isis, a popular Egyptian goddess, or Asherah. Yeah. Yep, the Babylonian exile, the prophet Jeremiah argued that Yahweh was angry at the people of Judah. Which the people of Judah is the so-called African-Americans. You, you jakes for worshiping foreign gods. These foreign gods included the mysterious queen of heaven. While scholars have attempted to pinpoint a single deity behind this title, the Queen of Heaven is likely a mixture of different deities found throughout the Bronze and Iron Ages in the Levant, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, and the lands beyond. Yep. Ashtoreth. Was the Queen of Heaven also a generic name or a specific deity? The answer is likely both. The Queen of Heaven might refer to, Meso to the Mesopotamian goddess Ishtar. The, uh, the Hebrew name for the cake baked for the Queen of Heaven is Kawam, which may be related to the Akkadian Kamenu, which is described in several Mesopotamian texts, texts as a cake made for Ishtar. Ishtar is widely recognized as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. In Mesopotamian royal hymns and cult songs, and today they 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 uh do that with with their mamas. They make their mamas the queen of heaven and earth. They they even call her the queen, you know, the queen. Of, they they say that she's the mother of civilization. This, this what them uh them dumb pro blacks be talking about. The black woman is the the the, the you know the, the mother of civilization. We all come from her. They be making her out to be the most high. You know, which goes into. Let's segue into that def that definition of fornication, which fornication, as it says, is sexual intercourse between people who are not married to each other. All right, which is that's how it's taught for the most part, which is not true. Uh, fornication in the spirit is number one in the spirit is uh, when you worship in other gods other than the true living creator. But then you had a fornication uh, of sexual immorality in the second definition, unlawful sexual intercourse on the part of an unmarried person. Which that that goes off the definition of you know in the world goes off because marriage is uh sex, sex is marriage, you know the actual act of inserting your rod into a vagina, that uh that binds together the flesh which that's marriage. Marriage is the joining of two, becoming one. The man and the woman coming becoming one, which that really is supposed to be done with a woman who's a virgin. All right, that way the covenant. Is, is enacted by way of the blood or the token of the covenant, which was, you know, you pop the cherry, as we say. And then that's the act of the, the woman and the male being joined together as one. You know, that's a, a lawful marriage right there. Um, But, you know, this this thing is off. And, and there's the fornication of incest being pushed in the world right now. And just a side note, the top 20 countries um, for porn daily traffic number one is the united states which that's that shouldn't even be a secret that shouldn't even be a surprise the united states is number one for for porn search why because the the sexual immorality here is the highest because this is uh babylon the great also known as a, the the land of marathium in jeremiah 15 21 uh, marathium a symbol and symbolic name for babylon in jeremiah the 50th chapter verse 21 
Here it is used as a play on words, meaning double rebellion. See, so this is the place where anything goes, where the people are rebelling twice as much as ancient Babylon, you know, as uh, the Roman, uh, the rebellion that was in the, the, the Roman Empire. Like th this is this 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 is times two. All right. This is times two. So. Let's get going back to this article. Kodak Black, and this is somebody who also, I think he said he knew he was he was an Israelite at one point, a few years ago. So, things get even stranger when he added, I don't F my mama, we ain't doing no crazy shit. I grab her like I make her feel real beautiful. I remind my mama, you beautiful. I'm fucked up about you, ma. I'm in love with you. All right, in the original video, Kodak's mother. Yeah, so let's get the original video. Him dancing with his mama. Here hey, we go. Hey, I this Hey, hey. Look. Look where his hand at. Look at where his hand is at. Precept, Leviticus 18, 16. All right, laws on immoral relations. Let's start at the top. And the Lord, Yahweh, spake, spake unto Masha, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am Yahweh, your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, ye shall not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. So these laws that are given to Moses, right? Guess what? These are things that the people were doing that because the Egyptians were descendants of Ham, the Canaanites were descendants of Ham. All right, so these are acts that they were doing. So the, the law was given up to us as a reference, like, okay, this is this is this is what's going on. Don't do that. When 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 this situation happens, this is how you handle it. You know, don't do this because they do this. This is why I'm getting them out the land, because they was doing this. So let's read about the shit that they was doing. All right. You shall do my judgments and keep mine ordinance to walk therein. I am the Lord your God. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am Yahweh. Verse 6. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am Yahweh. Let's look at the NLT. All right. Let's get that. You must never have sexual relations with a close relative, for I'm Yahweh. Do not violate your father by having sexual relations with your mother. She is your mother. You must not have sexual relations with her. All right, back to this. Kodak is violating his father, even though he probably ain't nowhere around or he dead or whatever. He's violating his mother, his father and his mother. This is a sexual relation. <laughs> Violation. Grab on the ass, then we reach for the kiss. <laughs> reach for the kiss. Violation. Do, verse 8. Do not have sexual relations with any of your father's wives. Plural. For this would violate your father. Okay. clear so you know and going back to this article you know another rapper is out here pushing this energy and going back to even porn which porn goes back uh porneo i think that's uh synonymous with fornication too and you got these artists that's pushing this vibration of um, incest. You know, the one of the top search porn uh, things is um, stepmom. 
lesbian is number one, stepmom like number seven. So that's already getting close to that, to that, um, you know, to your mother pretty much, which we just read in the law. You ain't supposed to be messing with none of your father's, your father's wives. Read that again, because that, that would be your stepmom. If it's not your biological, Michael, be your stepmama, right? Leviticus 18 and 8. Do not have sexual relations with any of your father's wives, for this will violate your father. So they, they pushing that, that vibration of having sex with your stepmom, even though we know that these guys ain't really having sex with their stepmama. They they acting. But this is a part of the witchcraft and the, the, the sorceries of Babylon to, to put push these demons on people, right? And so that's why we... You know, Lord willing, we uh, exercising these demons out of people through these these videos and, you know, through these warnings and, and uh, admonitions so that, you know, our people as sheep won't get caught up in this shit and then end up getting getting burnt up with this place. Because this place is about to get ready to get hit, man. Most high about to get ready to judge this place. So, you know, uh, rise ye and depart for this is not your rest and, and come up out of her, man. Wake up. All right. The, the days are short and there's not a lot of time left. So. I'm going to go ahead and close there. Uh, prayer was at a fine lesson. All praise and glory to you. How about you? I'll shine to the next one.